Hey guys, I'm Danny. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. In this video, I have a confession to make. Yes, I was robbed in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> Some of you know that I made a safety tips video a while back with safety tips that I had gotten from friends and just, you know, my own personal experiences. And I just, I left my guard down and I got got. Um, so <laughs> I am here today with yet another video about safety in Rio de Janeiro, but this one is very specifically related to Ubers. Why is this related to Ubers? Because I was robbed in an Uber. So before I get into these safety tips, let me paint this picture for you. Um, Of course, because I'm shooting a video, you guys know that Turkish the Bull Terrier loves to be heard. Um, so I'm headed to rehearsal with my friends and I'm sitting in the front seat. And mostly because I'm the tallest, but I get in the front seat and the Uber turns the corner from our block and I pull out my phone to text people in America to say, um, hey, I'm in my Uber headed out to Niteroy. Uh, I'll let you know when I get there. That's like my habit. I also share my location on Uber. That's something else that you can do. Um, I, yeah, so I just was following my normal protocols, middle of texting, not looking at what's going on a safety tip that I already gave you guys in the previous videos to keep your head on a swivel and not to have your nose in your phone, but that's a whole nother story. Again, you can watch that video later uh, after this one. So I'm typing, 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 and the next thing I know, a little hand just comes out of nowhere and yoink, takes my phone. I scream, I scream, and I got so mad that I punched the dashboard of the car three times because I knew that I, I knew that I had messed up. I knew that I had messed up. And I finally like get all my, gather my things and I get out of the Uber, like just on the street, I just get out of the Uber. And I was like, I'm gonna walk back home because I know that kid is gone. Um, and I'm just gonna go home. I don't wanna go all the way to Niteroy without a phone. Cause I mean, if I get separated from y'all, how am I gonna get home? It just, I, I didn't wanna deal with that. I couldn't even call an Uber to take me back to the apartment. Oh, I was just devastated. So I'm walking down the block and I am just boo hooing you guys. Like I'm just not crying at this point because I was basically there alone. Yes, I have friends there, but it's not the same, you know what I mean? Um, so all of my contacts are gone, all that good stuff, you know, just gone. And I am snot crying, walking down the sidewalk and people are looking at me like, oh, I don't, they don't know what happened, but they feel bad. You can tell that strangers were feeling bad for me. And then I see some kids and some people running down the street and a woman pointing and yelling and then I see cops come out of nowhere and they start running after them. And I was like, oh shit, bitch, there go my phone. And I'm like, I take off running down the street. I finally catch up with them and I'm crying and I was like, these are the people who stole my phone. I finally catch up with him. I was like, you stole my phone. And the kid's like, no, Tia, no, auntie, no, I didn't steal your phone. I didn't steal your phone. I'm like, you stole my phone. And I was like, shame on you. I'm here by myself in this country and you stole my phone. How am I supposed to call anybody? I, like, shame on you. And they were like, no, no, Tia. It was like three boys. No, Tia, no, Tia. I did not steal your phone. I didn't steal your phone. So the cops have them. 
and that's the only way I was actually able to talk to them, get close enough to talk to them because they have them and they're like holding them by the back of their necks and their hands are behind their backs. And the kid kept saying, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. And the officer like squ squarely punches him in the face and tells him to shut up. I was like, oh, this is getting real. And so they were, the cop asked me, they stole your phone. I said, yes, I was in an Uber. Uh, and they snatched my phone and the officer asked him, where's her phone? Where's her phone? He kept saying, I don't have this phone. I don't have her phone. I don't have her phone. And so they pat him down. He does not have the phone. And, um, the cops were like, okay, well, we're taking you down to the police station. And they were like, will you identify him? And I was like, I mean, I think it's him. I don't know that it's him. This be clear. I assumed it was them. And, but I did not know for sure. So... I follow the cops around the corner cause they're like, we gotta go back to the police station to get your statement. And once we go around the corner, my God, those, I thought they were going to kill those kids. That's all I'm gonna say. I thought they were gonna kill those kids, like right there. And it was kind of hard, to, it was hard to watch. And we get back to the police station. I give my statement. One of the police officers let me use her phone and I was able uh, to call this guy. And um, I was telling him what happened and he's so smart. He stuck a burner phone in my suitcase. So smart. And like a really old iPhone. And um, finally they needed me to ID the kids. And by the time that came around a i had calmed down i had been informed of my burner phone situation um i remembered that i had uh tracked my apple tracked my iphone on and uh, i calmed down a bit basically and they were like can you identify them and i looked at the hands of the kids i was like i need to see their hands and there was one who was shaking the most and kept saying that think that that could be him that could be him I did not want to identify the wrong kid because like I said what I saw the police do to those kids on the streets God only knows what they were gonna do to them after I left and I identified them as the thieves finally when I get to um the identification I was like I really I, I can't identify him and I honestly I wish I had identified the kid, even without the confirmation, only because after later, my friends were like, yeah, the guy, the, he had on a blue shirt. That was the one whose hands I saw, and I was like, that's him. I did not identify him, so they went free. But uh, not without consequence, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And uh, so now I'm gonna give you guys, oh. And then when I, they, the police gave me a ride back to my apartment, I ran upstairs and got on to track my iPhone. My phone was like a few blocks away. And I was like, I, you know, I was trying to get in kind of, I was texting the police officer on my MacBook, like, hey, like, I know where the phone is. And, you know, I got the advice that they can't just go in and go get my phone. It might be a dangerous situation where the phone is. So even though we knew where the phone was, I could not get my phone back and I had to wait uh, until this guy got down there a few weeks later and brought me a whole new iPhone, uh, iPhone 13. So I did get to upgrade in the end, but I could have still had my old faithful that I love that had no problems um, if I had followed these five safety rules for Uber. Okay, the very first tip that I have for you is to always ride with your window rolled up. I knew this. I knew this when I got robbed, but I just wasn't thinking. I was like, I'm gonna just send off this message real quick and you know, put my phone away, it'll be fine. Ride with your windows rolled up, period. Period, especially during rush hour. It's especially during rush hour traffic, when you're just cutting, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. That is when you are most at risk. Um, it's, if you're in a tunnel, ugh, those aha stones that I talk about in the other safety video where the kids come down and just rob everybody, that happens in the tunnels. Ride with your window up, period. Okay, okay. 
Safety tip number two. If you are leaving a Samba school late night or even going to a Samba school late night, I recommend having an Uber partner. That means a friend that is going the same way as you. Now I get it. A lot of you travel solo dolo. That's fine. You especially need to ride with your windows up. But if you are like me, a Samba dancer who has a lot of late night running around to do, try to have an Uber partner. Not only does this cut your Uber costs down, but it also just provides a bit of safety, a bit of um, vigilance. You know, you got two sets of eyes as opposed to just one. And, um, you know, there are plenty of instances where I was in Ubers with girls that I didn't know, maybe didn't even like, uh, because we were going in the same direction. And uh, I've been in some awkward Ubers where like girls were having whole conversations about people that I knew and I would be like, wait, what? And they were like ignoring that I was asking questions. That has happened to me. But I only ended up paying like $1.50 for that Uber and I was safe. So you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Find an Uber partner if you can, like a friend or a neighbor or something, who knows. Uh, number three, number three. Um, Try to book Uber Comfort. If you're going during the summer months, which would be January, February, and March, it's hot, it's hot. So I book Uber Comfort and you can set your preference for air conditioning. And this way you're, all, you're pretty much guaranteed that the windows are gonna be rolled up. You can book a Uber X and that car, well, they'll, like I've had drivers just tell me no. Can you turn on the air conditioning? No. Like, why are you driving Uber? You don't want to turn on the air conditioning. Like, they, they won't. They won't turn change the music. Some drivers are just that way. And what are you going to do other than give them four stars? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Try to book an Uber Comfort so you can get air conditioning. Sometimes it's the same price. Sometimes it's just like a hair more. Sometimes, sometimes it's actually cheaper. Just saying. Just saying. Tip number four is to utilize all of the safety features that are built into Uber. There are now, there's now a way for you to set a code in Uber to where the driver won't even take off until you give them the three digit or four digit code. This way they know who you are, you know who they are. Always set a code, especially if you're going to a place where there's a whole Uber queue where everybody is leaving the venue at the same time and trying to get Ubers, make sure you set a code. And this way the Uber driver has to confirm who they are. Also share your location. You can do this within the app. Um, share your location with someone else on Uber. I share my location for every Uber with this person. If you are not the person who called the Uber and you don't, you know, you can't share your location, um, and they haven't quite done the split the fare thing that you can do also within the app. Um, share your location on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is very popular down there. It's almost the only way to communicate via text message. Uh, SMS is not really a thing down there. In WhatsApp, share your location with someone. Just send them a text with your live location for you know 15 minutes or an hour, however long you think it's gonna take you to get to where you need to go. So maximize the safety features that are built into the Uber app. Tip number five, finally, be aware that in Brazil, uh, things are a lot less regulated in general. So sometimes you'll get an Uber, you'll see the car, you'll check the license plate, uh, the driver knows your name, but the, the photos don't match. That is because sometimes Uber drivers lend their cars to someone else so they can make money. So like two Uber dri two drivers will share a car, which the app doesn't allow officially. So you may get in a car where the driver is supposed to be a blonde guy named Felipe and it's really a brunette guy named Fabio. 
but everything else matches up, you're likely okay. You are likely okay, but again, I hope you have your Uber partner and I hope you're sharing your location, okay? Um, but if it's not exactly the right car, like if it says it's a silver car and then you get there and it's like a red car and the driver's name doesn't match or the license plate doesn't match, two out of the three have to match. Two out of the three have to match. If two out of the three don't match, do not get into that Uber. That's true anywhere. Do not get into the Uber. If the driver's face and name don't match, you know, with the car and the license, you, you got to have two out of the three. So just uh, be careful. Unfortunately, there was a horror story about a girl um, on her way to practice, a dancer and the uber driver passed by where she was supposed to go would not stop would not let her out of the car and she ultimately had to jump out of the car and you know skinned up a lot of her body don't know what that guy's motive was but she had to jump out of the car and this wasn't a like attempted gringa kidnapping this was a regular degular you know brazilian girl you know i believe she was from one of the favelas but she got in an uber and the uber wouldn't let her out so i know these sound like horror stories that you know make you not want to go to this other country but the reality is these are things that happen in a lot of other countries as well so just um, again, when it comes to Uber, especially if you are a woman, these these tips are really, really important, especially, like I said, because if you are a samba dancer, there's a lot of late night goings on and you just want to make sure that you are being as safe as possible. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, share this video, leave a comment below if you have any additional tips or let me know what you even think about these tips. Um, but I love hearing from you guys. You got the comment section never disappoints. You guys are pretty funny. So uh, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.